Good morning, and I am Chef Shauna, and thank you for tuning into my channel. Uh, let me tell you, today I'll be cooking inside my $200 hotel. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, I'm going to show you how to cook in a fucking $200 damn hotel instead of spending all your fucking money at all these restaurants and to be a ball on the budget. I want to show you how to use a George Foreman grill, uh, explain uh, free items, which is, you know, paper towels, paper uh, plates, forks, and my lovely free refrigerator that I got uh, lucky through the hotel, and I'll tell you how to get that too. But anyway, I have a hangover today. I partied like a fucking rock star. And I don't feel like going outside right now and being around a whole bunch of other people, crying ass kids. So right now today, I'm gonna cook a grilled cheese sandwich and a quesadilla right here in the comfort of my fucking hotel. And yes, I said hotel. It's a $200 motherfucking hotel and I'm gonna cook in this bitch. So at that point, before we get started, I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm using a hotel desk. And before you start cooking, doing anything, make sure you disinfect this damn table because you don't know what happened on this table. I may have done something last night on the motherfucking table. I don't remember. But anyway, always disinfect the counter and tabletops that you're gonna to use to cook in, okay? So I disinfect this whole counter. I put another layer of protection, a clean white towel, a Barbie towel, whatever you want, half towel, and I put my food on top of it, and uh, my tortillas kind of slid off of there. So all my items I'm gonna to use today is on a white towel, even my George Foreman grill, which is really, really super hot right now. So let's get cooking. So uh, before we get uh, cooking, I want to explain free items to the people that are new to my channel. So when I say free items, I want to just be cl uh, clear something up. Free items are things that you get from uh, fast food restaurants uh, like paper towels, uh, spoons, uh, paper plates. Always ask them if you can uh, get extra silverware, paper plates, stuff like that. Other free items is if your hotel that you staying at gives you free breakfast and you have to worry about your lunch and dinner, girl, man, dude, I don't know. Hit the free section shit up. Get your little purse, bag, whatever. You know, I used to laugh at the old people when they used to raid the, the breakfast carts and stuff. I do it now. Go in there and get all the free stuff, like free chocolate milk, peanuts, popcorn. If you see it there and they say it's free, grab the shit, put it in your bag, and use it for another day. I'm gonna use all this shit right now, except the popcorn, but I am gonna drink this damn chocolate milk because who don't like chocolate milk in the morning for breakfast? So um, I'm gonna drink this up. So anyway, uh, just that's free stuff um, that you can use. Uh, for free things. My other free item, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, is I'm going to tell you how to get a free refrigerator. If you are at a hotel and you have perishable items, I usually tell the hotel, hey, I have medicine that needs to be refrigerated. And the hotel is so nice. They bring me up a nice free Da, 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 refrigerator and I put all my perishable items like right now I got some tomatoes I got my bottle of wine chilling because I'm gonna fuck that up later on tonight so I plan to get fucked up and I got a lettuce I got some butter I got my miracle whip and other things that I was using for sandwiches oops shit don't want to close up okay 
the hell did I? There we go. So anyway, um, you can get free stuff. They won't charge you for the refrigerator. So just tell them a little white lie. You're saving money and you don't have to worry about, you know, things like that, extra costs. So you can use that extra money that for the refrigerator that they'll charge you. I think some hotels charge you like 50 bucks to 100 bucks per day for a fucking refrigerator and I got this bitch for free. Excursions and fucking drinks. That's what I'm using that money for. So anyway, I'm gonna go over here and start washing my hands and uh, we're gonna start cooking. Let's go. When you cook for people, you got to wash your motherfucking hands. It's just sanitary. I've been probably scratching my ass in the bed before I woke up and, you know, rubbed my eyes and probably touched underneath my <coughs> underarm pits, probably readjusted my bra like three or four times. <coughs> so you got to wash your fucking hands. So I'm going to show you how to wash your hands. Now, right now it's Corona season. Rona ain't leaving. Rona's here, unless she got the shot, but that's still not good enough either. But anyway, we're going to wash our hands for 20 seconds as hot water as long as you can stand it. And it's just, it's just a safety thing, you know. You're cooking for other people, they don't want your cooties and shit. So I'm going to wash, wash my hands, but give me a second. I forgot my paper towels too do something so anyway I'm gonna get this kind of prepped right here I got my handy dandy soap hot water and I'm gonna wash my hands I count to 20 I've seen the alphabet and uh, this is a wash your hands really good in between on top it's just very sanitary to just to Wash your hands before you start cooking. This motherfuckers just, ugh. You don't know who you eating from. So, it's just very important that you wash your hands. Grab your paper towel. Even though I'm in a hotel, I still cook like I am working in the kitchen environment. You know, those habits have not left me. So, with your paper towel, the water's running, turn it off, wipe your sink. I'm a neat freak. So anyway, I'm all set and uh, we'll start cooking. All right, so now we're gonna start cooking. So first I'm going to make um, the grilled cheese sandwich and I'm gonna be doing two things at one time. I got some handy dandy butter here. Now about butter. I know you may be cooking just for you, but it's just really fucking nasty that you go to people's houses or you just smear the butter on top of here and you got crumbs and shit everywhere. Use, use silverware. It, it's free. You get it for free, you know, just scrape some butter off and uh, it's just a bad habit. Or If you got a butter jar that's just for bread, then okay. but. People don't want to see that. So I'm going to butter, you know, this bread real good. Really, really good. Now, like I said, I'm not going to double dip because it's just gross to me. So I'm going to give two pieces of bread going to make out real quick. They're going to do some butter love. So uh, my butter is on both pieces of bread and... Um, I'm going to grab my lovely mac and cheese uh, blend. This is the best. It is like ooey gooey to the 10th power. I love it. You can find this at 99 cent store or you can get it at Ralph's. Okay. And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, all these items except the free items in here came from the 99 cent store. So basically... You can be a baller on a budget at the 99 cent store and it works. So um, I got my cheese, 
I'm going to load that bad boy up on that sandwich. It's going to be off the hook. Now, I'm a big girl. I like cheese. I don't know about you, but shit. I love me some cheese. Shit. Sometimes I eat too much cheese. And, you know, you get old. You get fucking constipated. So, you know, I got to be easy up on the cheese sometimes. So, we're going to get the cheese on there real quick. But that's a whole different story. So, we got that. And then the next one is our quesadilla. <clears throat> so, you're saying quesadilla? She going to put all that in the George Foreman grill. Yes, I am. So, this is some aluminum foil that I got from the 99 cent store. And, um, I don't know. It's just a trick of the trade I learned working in the restaurant industry. It just goes fast. Everyone gets to eat at the same time. And it tastes good. So, put that on there. Again, we just don't want to go out and, uh, be with people. We just want to chill in the house and I mean in, in the hotel and just lay low. We don't want to be bothered hearing no kids scream because we sort of got a headache and uh, we just don't want to be bothered. So I got some butter on my quesadilla. All right, got that. That bad boy goes like that. Okay. So I'm gonna put some cheese right here. And now you're saying, well, shit, she gonna put a top on this motherfucker? What she gonna do? I ain't gonna do that. I ain't even gonna do that. Ain't gonna be no top. So you're gonna squeeze your cheese in there. Quick fold like so. And you're gonna do some. Some crimping on this side, some crimping on that side, and some crimping on that side. Okay? There you go. You got your hot pocket, baby. All right, so I got you saying, how the hell is she going to put all this on this damn small, inky dinky uh, George Foreman grill? Very easy. So this is sanitary, clean. Everything on here is clean, so I'm going to put that package right there. So I'm gonna take my grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna place it, you hear that sizzle? Oh yeah, you hear that? So my quesadilla is in this package and uh, I fold the ends of it and I'm gonna stick it right next to it. Kill two birds with one stone, put the lid on there, bam. You're cooking, baby, right there. So we're gonna let this cook for about hmm, five minutes on both sides, and then we're gonna flip it, and uh, we're gonna have a quesadilla and some grilled cheese sandwich, and we're gonna eat. I'm out. All right, so I've been letting this cook for about three minutes. Now I'm gonna go in here and check and see how it's going, see if I need to flip it or not, but the George Foreman grill is the best. Like, I use it for every little thing. I pack this little fucker in my suitcase, I clean it up after I finish, and it's ready to go. So let's see what's in here cooking. All right, we got some color in this bitch. All right, so I'm gonna take my little knife here, and I'm gonna do a little flippy flip. My hands are clean, guys. Oh, you can see that cheese flipping. Alrighty. I'm gonna do my little care package here. We're gonna flip that little bad boy. And uh, we're gonna stick that little puppy right there. Now, they have, um, okay. You can use a panini press that has the little extra flap on there. Those are a little expensive. But see, you know, at the airport, they throw your fucking luggage everywhere. And if I put a $70 down panini press, that 
is weight, okay? That fucker is heavy, okay? And I don't think you want to get charged for some weight. You'd rather put your clothes in there so you can look good, fly, or whatever. This little fucker is like less than two pounds. It ain't gonna count. It's like putting a pair of sneakers or something in there. So you want something that's very light that can fit in your suitcase and you won't get mad if the motherfucker breaks, okay? So we're gonna let this cook for another about four minutes. I like mine a little crispy, baby. I like it a little crispy and crunchy now. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll be right back. Grilled cheese and my quesadilla is almost crunchy. So this is the point is where I open my little package. Okay, so it's been cooking, it's been melted. And uh, like I said, I like my food a little crispy. So I'm gonna un do my quesadilla, it's melted, it's all gooey inside. And I'm just gonna get some grill marks on there. So we're gonna stick that like that. And we're gonna just finish it up in there. Okay, we're gonna let that get a little some real crispy and we'll be back. All right, so I just pulled out my grilled cheese sandwich because it's a little golden brown and my quesadilla is in there. Look at all that cheese that's around there. Oh yeah, look at that. See, now, it's not smoking, but you got that sizzling, baby. Look at that. It's sizzling. Ooh, it's so gooey. So, yeah, we got some ooey gooey. Ooh wee. Right there, boy. Anyway. So, our casadella is done. But I'm gonna crack this thing open right now. So this is my quesadilla. And we're gonna just go ahead and hear that crunch. No, this is all with the George Foreman grill. I mean, it's really simple. You know, we just don't feel like going out to outside this morning. So we're just gonna, oh, that's food porn right there, baby, look at that. That's why I like using the mac and cheese. Uh, see that twist? You twist and make it real. Anyway, we just don't feel like, uh, going outside today and being bothered and um, we're just gonna eat in the room and then we're gonna go out later on tonight or for lunch and um, you know go get something to eat so uh, this is just like something to kind of sober up some of the fucking liquor that we drunk so uh, you know if you're at home uh, it's Super Bowl week just passed here. And you can put green chilies in here, jalapenos, and your quesadilla, and it makes it good. But we couldn't find any kind of sauce at the 99 cent store. So he's just having a basic butter quesadilla. So here we go. You know, it's real cooey. You know, he likes it like that. So, nice, nice. Paper plates are a bitch, okay, let me tell you, but they are free. And, uh, ooh, that's hot. I should have put it back on the, on the, on the aluminum foil. But anyway, this cheese is sticking onto here. Let me take that out. All right, so these are some cheap paper towels. So I just transferred the quesadilla to a aluminum foil so it won't stick. So um, this is it. This is all we're gonna eat. I'm just showing you how to be cheap and reasonable in your hotel. I'm not showing you how to make designable fucking dinner plates, which I can do. I know some of you motherfuckers on this damn YouTube channel gonna say, this bitch ain't no chef. I am. I am a certified fucking chef. And I just, right now, I don't feel like doing a plate display for your ass. So you get a ghetto ass set up with some fucking paper plates and aluminum foil and with a fucking Coke and a smile. This is what you're getting. You're in a hotel. You ain't gonna have all these fancy plates, all your, you know, decorations and all that. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. So anyway, his quesadilla is done, my grilled cheese is done, and we first to sit down, watch some fucking TV, and uh, I got some chips that I cracked open the day before yesterday, because right now, actually, it's about like 10, 
10 o'clock where we at, cause shit, we woke up late. I'm gonna get some chips. He gonna get some chips. And we gonna sit there and be happy and motherfucking merry until dinner. So this is it. This is our, This is what I'm cooking y'all today. So, say la vie. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. God bless y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for joining me. And uh, we out this bitch. Bye.